Irish dancing, an expression of culture and a popular entertainment form enjoyed by the huge diaspora around the world. However, allegations of cheating in return for alleged sexual favours have been brought to light by journalist Ellen Coyne. The allegations are that there are at least a dozen teachers within the CLRG, the biggest, oldest and most prestigious Irish dance organisation in the world, who have been engaged in what's become known as fesh fixing, arranging in advance for their students to get the highest mark possible from judges, not based on their dancing, but based on the connection between the judges and the teachers. The story has made the headlines from New York to Australia and places where there are large Irish communities. The scandal has raised concerns about the reputation of Irish dancing and how it will be perceived around the world. This is really serious for Ireland on, on the global stage and there are very serious allegations at play here of competition fixing and we really need to see very concrete action now to provide reassurance to the children and young adults who have given their lives and you know bear in mind this is children that are at the heart of these allegations here, they're the ones who have been wronged, um, that we have concrete action to ensure that Irish dancing is cleaned up. The governing dance body has appointed a retired judge to investigate the alleged sexual demands in return for high marks in competitions. Apart from an online statement in which it says such behaviour will not be tolerated, it is refusing to answer media queries on the matter. This is the HQ of the Irish Dancing Organisation currently at the centre of this scandal. So far, nobody is dealing with media queries. This matter is now in the hands of a judge and the outcome of that investigation could determine if this is a matter for the police and ultimately one for the courts. This is Ken Murray for Euronews in Dublin.